there are numerous factors that affect the forces that occur between the train and the track. They include train speed and handling, vehicle condition, type, weight, and distribution of load. Marshalling of different types and weights of cars within each consist. Vehicle motion. Track design. And deviations in track geometry. How these forces distort track geometry, or even derail a train, is best understood at the wheel-rail interface. The wheel-rail interface sees a combination of lateral or sideward forces and vertical or downward forces. The proportion of lateral to vertical force determines the angle at which the resultant force will act and is called the L over V ratio. The importance of the L over V ratio is that although lateral forces try to tip the rail over, the appropriate amount of vertical force holds it in place. However, if the L over V ratio increases beyond certain limits, the resulting force can tip the rail and damage the rail fastening system. On the high rail, the increased lateral loading increases wheel flange contact, which encourages wheel climb and rail roll over. On the low rail, if the L over V ratio increases beyond a certain limit, and especially if the load bears on the outside portion of the railhead, as happens when wide gauge exists, the low rail will tip, permitting the wheel to drop. The three common situations that result in an increase in the L over V ratio are Lateral force increases while the vertical force stays constant. The lateral force increases and the vertical force decreases. Or the lateral force remains constant while the vertical force decreases. <laughs>